What's the quickest way you've seen a friend up their life? Story one. He used to be really cool in middle school, to the point where I envied him. He wasn't a popular kid, but he got along with most everybody, got straight A's, and had an awesome family that traveled extensively. There wasn't a single negative aspect to this guy's life. Things changed when we got into 8th grade, however. He started displaying toxic attention-seeking behavior by getting in trouble constantly. There was a point where he got suspended twice in one week because he was so disruptive. This was totally out of his character, and I realized it, but he was my best friend, and I chalked it up to him being a goof. Middle school ended, and we got into high school, which is where his behavior really started to decline. Instead of hanging out with me or his friend circle that he had built up for years, he wanted to hang out with all the scummy potheads and druggies. His father was a medical marijuana caregiver, Michigan, so all the broke potheads' eyes lit up at the notion of free and plentiful weed leading to many fake friends. His attendance at school went from spotty to showing up once a week to not showing up for four months. All he did was skip school with his friends and do whatever drugs they could get their hands on. He avoided me, alienated me, and straight up started acting like we hadn't been best friends for four years prior. I still tried to keep the friendship and got hurt multiple times in the process. Eventually, he moved away with his family to the middle of nowhere about an hour from me, and he doesn't do anything. He will literally sit in his room all day every day snorting absurd amounts of Adderall and never gets off his phone. The few times I went to visit him at his new house, it was like talking to a brick wall. He had changed from a nice young man into a distant, apathetic and I couldn't take it. The last time I saw him was about two years ago, and I have no plans of seeing him in the future. It's just not worth the effort to try and revive a dead friendship, in my opinion. Honestly, it kind of sounds like your friend is dealing with some stuff, like depression or who knows what. He, he might actually need some therapy or medication. Thing is, even if his life looks perfect, there could be stuff you don't know about, or even just a chemical imbalance. I hope he gets some help. Story 2. A coworker's wife f***ed up her life by marrying him. He was close to 30, and she was 17 when they met at a renaissance fair. Wound up getting married a couple months later. They had to involve her parents since she was underage. The night of their wedding, he encouraged her to get it on with his best friend's wife in the back seat of the car while they drove around. The week after she turned 18, he took her to a strip club, and either that week or the following, he got her to dance in an amateur night competition, which she won. Within a week or so of that, she was a full-time stripper. She had multiple girlfriends that she would hang out with. Her husband was fine with this because, as he put it, I provide a different service. She wound up getting addicted to drugs and then selling drugs. They got a divorce. All the above occurred within a six-month time frame. The girl was several states away from where she had grown up, isolated from any positive influence and completely dependent on her job as a stripper and her drug-dealing co-workers. Story 3. Prince fiancé was diagnosed with bipolar, didn't take his meds, slept with a woman twice his age who was married but separated, got her pregnant. She ran back to her husband, friend, doesn't see her after that. He attempts self-termination and is given meds at the mental hospital but stops taking them after release. Next thing we know, the guy is living with a girl he met a week earlier, marries her a week after that. She's pregnant almost immediately. He moves them to a new city overnight and then back to their hometown when they can't find work on the fly. She gives birth, he works at Walgreens. Less than six months later, she leaves him with the kid. We don't talk anymore, but I think he's on his own still working at Walgreens. Before all this started, he had a full ride to college to study Russian. He turned it down. It's a sad, strange story. Story 4. There was this guy I knew for the better part of a decade. He was always the life of the party, but also had his crap together. He had a serious long-term job while most of us were still college kids. He was the first of my peers to buy a house. He was always in a serious long-term relationship. One day, the police show up at his house. They have a search warrant and take all the computers in the house. He rented rooms out to several friends. Turns out he had downloaded a prodigious amount of onto his girlfriend's laptop. I don't know all the details, but I know he didn't go to prison. His girlfriend dumped him, obviously. He was put on probation where he couldn't leave the city, so he had to quit his job. 
He moved out of his own house and into a halfway house. He stopped paying his mortgage and the house was foreclosed. Auction was just last week. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just, I have sympathy for people who make a lot of different kinds of mistakes, but getting into crap like that is crossing way over the line. Frankly, it sounds like they went lenient on him and he should be thankful he didn't go to prison. Story 5. Gambling Addiction. Fruit Machines, Slot Machines. Blew all his salary, hocked himself, maxed out the cards, the usual. With a colleague, took a client out for lunch, and abandoned both to play the machine he'd spotted in the bar. Our company was offered a free exhibition stand at an event in Northern England, and he was detailed to go up there and man it. He didn't have the money to get there, let alone pay for a night in a hotel, even though he'd get the money back on expenses, so he didn't go. Fired, and it got worse from there. A relative who's been in addiction rehab, it's not all for drugs people, declared recently that he was glad he only had a coke habit. He reckoned the gambling addicts were the worst of the lot, with the smallest chance of breaking the circle. Bet you they're not, I replied. He did smile, but swainly. Story 6. I had one who was into ska music, very loyal, good guy, treated the ladies well, but had that punk mentality. At 14, he discovered pot. Loved to smoke pot. No big deal. Later, he started working at the nightclubs, then got a little bit into c for a few years. That was some high roller stuff, but whatever, he could handle it. Then he started hanging with some tweakers and experimented with I know he does it. He's still too ashamed to admit to me that he does it. He owes me and a bunch of our friends money. I honestly was upset, but not enough to burn our friendship. I just want him to quit doing that garbage, but at this point in our lives, the drugs are doing him. He's not doing the drugs. I wish he would just stop messing with that stuff, but what can I do? I can't live his life for him. Story 7. A friend of mine I knew since primary school, UK in the 90s, so about 7 or 8 years old, lost his mother to a sudden and unexpected brain aneurysm when he was 21. She was a single parent with no immediate family, living in a rented house. The only thing he inherited was a second-hand car. Said friend sold said car for a pittance, which he spent on drugs and alcohol within a month. He then, faced with homelessness, moved in with my parents. Teed moved out by this point, where he lied about having a job for another month. When he was found out, waking up after noon every day for a week was the giveaway, he was asked to leave. He eventually got his life together some years later, but it was a rocky road, and a scary reminder of how close a naive young adult can be to destitution. I'm really sorry to hear what he went through, because losing a mother like that can really mess a person up. I'm glad he's doing better now, and hopefully that's a time in his life he can learn from and put behind him. Story 8. A buddy of mine lost his job and girlfriend because he was an idiot, but had inherited income property from his family, so he sat in his one-bedroom apartment and drank himself to death in about four years. I miss him. But he never figured out how to move on with his life. He was stuck in that high school mentality of as long as you're cool, then everything should work out, right? I'm as bastard I've ever met, but the nicest dude, too. That guy could throw a party with three people and it was great. But no room for him in society and he knew it and couldn't figure out anything else. I'm pretty confident he let himself go on purpose so he could always be remembered as the coolest party guy anywhere. Story 9. Cousin of mine had never smoked weed before, so he decided to try it for his birthday. Not knowing anything about it, he went out and bought synthetic weed and smoked it by himself. He freaked out and thought he was dying, so he tried to call an ambulance. I'm not sure what happened, but instead of an ambulance, a cop showed up and my cousin got scared and hid. The officer eventually found him and my cousin proceeded to punch the officer and was promptly tackled to the ground and arrested. The cop fractured his hand tackling my cousin, so they added that to the charges of assaulting a police officer. Folks who know me know I'm a supporter of the devil's lettuce, but if you are of legal age and planning to try it somewhere where it is also legal, do it with some folks you can trust who are experienced. Electric cabbage is pretty darn safe, but if you take too much or freak out, it's great to have a friend there to anchor you. Story 10. One minute. Girl I went to high school with. She was reasonably drunk at our after prom. Jumped into a car with a guy who was blackout wasted and has swiped his keys back from the party host. He took a curve too wide and drove off a cliff, falling 40 feet into a tree. He broke his neck, got up, and walked home. She went through the windshield. Arms, neck, and back broken, face torn to shreds, ears ripped right off. She spent four months in a medically induced coma. 
and a year total in that giant halo thing. Severe brain damage. The personality change from the TBI essentially made her a different person. That was more than ten years ago, and she is still recovering, and it ruined her chances of a normal life. One minute is all it takes sometimes. Story 11. A friend washed out and was cut from the Cincinnati Reds baseball organization, and he was simply crushed. All of his dreams crashed. No one could console him, and he started drinking. His fairly well-off parents died a short time later. He was an only child and ended up inheriting a very sizable amount of money. Six months later, he was found in his apartment. He had drunk himself to death. The two huge tragedies in his life, being drafted to play professional baseball and inheriting a ton of money. When I think about him, I both cry about him and get furious at him. It was all just a mess. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and have a wonderful day. Story 12. In high school, he was left with a $1.5 million inheritance from his grandmother. He had already secured a scholarship to some prestigious school across the country. All that went down the drain. He stopped going to school, lost his scholarship, bought a house, and partied away most of the rest of the money. Within six months, he was broke. After another six months, he had lost the cars, the toys, and the house. My buddy actually bought a jet ski off him for real cheap because he needed money. Last heard, he was working construction and living in a hotel. Don't trust a 17-year-old kid with $1.5 million. I think a lot of folks with a lot of money want to make sure their kids and grandkids are taken care of, but never really realize how poorly prepared most people are to deal with getting that kind of money, especially a kid. Story 13. Very intelligent, but very lazy stoner friend of mine. He dropped out of school to basically smoke pot and play video games all day. I lived with his mother in a small apartment where they constantly fought. Miraculously, he got a great secure job for life with the post office postal service, but quit after about two weeks because he and the boss did not see eye to eye or some stupid reason like that. This was about 10 years ago, hasn't had a job since, and has been living off the inheritance his dad left him two years ago, but that money is drying up. Story 14. Got pregnant by a guy who was unable to support them or himself right out of high school. Had the baby, didn't go to college like planned, married loser guy, had a bunch more kids. They live in the trailer park next to her mom. Both work minimum wage retail jobs and struggle to survive. She had a lot of plans to break the cycle. She was the product of it herself. One unexpected pregnancy later, and she's stuck in it and hoping her kids will do better. It's sad to watch. Story 15. Happening right now, actually, to a coworker of mine. She has a boyfriend with a really well-paying job, but thinks it's a good idea to sleep with our customer service supervisor. Now, this girl literally has nothing without her boyfriend paying for it. No house, no car, no phone, I mean nothing. Why she thinks she's going to end up better, I don't know. Our supervisor makes far less than the boyfriend, and this girl has gotten used to pricey items and being treated like royalty. So my coworker and I are basically sitting back and waiting till it all blows up in their faces. We give it till holiday season for it to boil over. Story 16. A friend of mine from high school went to a university where he had quite a bit of scholarship money to attend. He was driving on a road trip and got pulled over while the friend and him were hotboxing. They both got arrested and he almost lost all his scholarships. The only reason he didn't was that his friend took all the charges. I'm not against weed, but make sure you know that it can have certain consequences. Yeah, also, as much as I do indeed love me some jazz cigarettes, you don't smoke and drive, damn it. It's right up there with drinking and driving, and if you do that crap, then I'm gonna think less of you. You're putting other people's lives at risk, so be smarter. Story 17. One of my classmates, but he seemed to have it all. Full-ride scholarship, decent-paying part-time job at his old high school, super cushy kind of network management job. He was basically getting paid to sit there and study slash do schoolwork, doing very well for himself. Then he got caught stealing thousands of dollars of computer equipment from said high school. Lost scholarship, expelled, fired, and charged with grand theft. Story 18. I have a friend who had gotten two bachelor's degrees, economics and political science, and wanted to get into politics. He hung around with the same friends from high school, some of which are not very good people. While hanging out with one of them, he got drunk and ruined his future. He was arrested for DUI, resisting arrest, and assaulting an officer. He hasn't found full-time employment since. 
I don't know. The way politics have been going, a DUI almost seems kind of tame. Frankly, he might just be thinking ahead and trying to fit in with the rest of them, so he's got some stories to share on the Supreme Court or something. Ugh. Story 19. She decided to pick party life over school life, what ended up with a kid at the age of 15. From what I know, she couldn't even handle it by herself. Her mom and dad were taking care of the kid while she was constantly going out to party, and right now she has three kids and she doesn't even know who is the father of each one. Story 20. Getting pregnant because your relationship is falling apart. A baby is not a band-aid, and it will in most cases make your relationship even worse. Only have a child if you and your partner decide that it is something you both want. Women trapping guys with a baby is horrendous. Men lying about using protection to get a girl pregnant is disgusting. Story 21. Indian co-worker with three degrees was pushed into a marriage and decided it was better to quit his job and become a bartender, ultimately becoming an alcoholic, all to make himself so undesirable the family no longer wanted him with their daughter. After the marriage was called off, he put his life back on track like nothing happened, and that was that. Story 22. Got into drugs, got into some debt. Was told one day, hey, if you go to this guy's house with us and help us collect on a debt, we'll forgive you. They robbed the guy even though he just was there to look intimidating and he was picked up on felony accessory to armed robbery and served eight years on a plea deal. Was originally looking at 20. Ruined his future and only 20 years old. Story 23. One guy I knew had the great idea to drink alcohol and then drive extremely speedy. It ended when his car wrapped itself nicely around a tree. Guy was 19, had massive brain damage afterwards, and lives in a disabled home since then, unable to form proper sentences, walk, or do anything, actually. Just don't drink and drive, guys. If you're gonna drink, give your keys to someone. Do whatever you can. Get an Uber, call a cab, get a friend, whatever. I've lost friends to this crap, folks, so please, just be smart about it. Story 24. Had a friend in high school who smoked weed all day, every day, even in our school locker room. He was an absolute mess. Got caught, ratted out everyone at our school, caused a huge drug bust, and was hated by everyone for the rest of high school. He lost his scholarship, and he might have gotten rejected from college, too. Story 25. Army buddy got tricked into thinking his stripper was pregnant after the first night, went and put just her name on the lease of an apartment, and bought her a $70,000 Dodge Challenger. Two months later, it turns out the stripper's kid isn't his. Takes all his crap. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.